Well, this is the bathroom. So much to it. This is a closet. It's got some ugly tile. And let me put this mirror up. So, this is the closet I want to take out. As you can see, there's nothing in it now. Well, nothing's in it. There's a painting in here. Painting. Whatever. Put this over here. So, I don't know. I want to take this out. I think it would be really, really great. It's going to add a lot of room to this space, and uh, I don't really need it. And I'm not saying it's a piece of shit, but I, I would prefer to use something else. So I'm in here now. It has this beautiful concrete wall behind it. I, I believe it's all concrete block. Um, I'm not sure. I believe it is, and then they mortared over it. So that's cool. Easy ball. Um, here, I'll let you guys... Yeah, you can see the block. Yeah, you can see it. Anyway, I prefer to go down to this. This looks really great. I love this concrete look. That's the look I want to go for. So I'm thinking I'll take all the tile off the floor and take all the drywall, everything. Remove it. I could just go down to the concrete block. I think that'll be really cool. I'll kind of show you around, show you what uh, everything looks like. All right, we'll do steady cam, Blair Witch Project style. So anyway, this is the top section. Same thing, all concrete behind it, and then they did all this like crazy texture on the walls. And uh, I want to take all that off, and then they have this tile, which I'd like to remove too. And it's a... Uh, you know, it's a little there. I figure, you know, start with this wall. Just take everything off, all the tile, everything. Get rid of this, expose these beautiful beams, you know. Remove this tile over here. Get rid of that. Just scrape it all off, just see what happens, see how long it takes. You know, have all this trim. Get rid of that. We already kind of ripped that off on accident. And then um, up here, I have all these like beautiful beams that I got from Home Depot here. I think they were like $30 a piece or something. It's a two by 12 by eight. So I figured, you know, let's get over here. you know, use the threaded pipe and kind of, kind of make them go across all the way up. And it would add a lot of storage and it really would push it back. So that's kind of what I want to do. Anyway, so that's the only thing that I found that I'm like, ah, crap. But uh, yeah, this seems pretty simple. It's all just like really thin pieces of wood put together, probably nailed or whatever. And you know, all the hardware is going to be really easy to remove. It's just what Philip said. Probably start with that, you know, get rid of the rack bar. Get rid of all the doors. And then there's nothing in here. This used to be where she had her stuff. So anyway, this is pretty thick. I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know how wide this is. This is almost, you know, more than two feet here. So uh, yeah, we'll get rid of all that. Bring everything back. I think it's really gonna stand out nice. And uh, this is what I wanted to do for her anyway. And then she'd have a lot more storage. So imagine you have all these like, beautiful beams like this that we have throughout the house and then we just have these like tiered levels and then if you wanted to you could add storage cabinets like this and just kind of partition it as you went up anyway but uh you know this is our bathroom as it is this job needs to go but again it's all concrete walls concrete block so i would really like to do a freestanding tub like a cloth foot cast iron um, and then uh, I love the block here. It's really beautiful. I would love to do this behind me 
and, and rip out this whole concrete block wall and just put glass blocks and it would just flood light into here and I don't know, they don't have to be blue like this but uh, I don't want anyone to see anybody peeing or being naked in here in case we have guests someone wants to shower so I don't know, we'll have to kind of brainstorm that but I really can't see outside and then, you know, we have this window to the outside to our carport um, you know, just like get all of this, scrape it off, and I'll show you in other parts of the house where I've already started to do that, and it looks beautiful. You know, here's our toilet; it's blue. All the internals are new now, and everything works really great. I mean, we don't pay for water here because we're on a well, and we're kind of like connected on a, like a city line. That's a well, anyway. So yeah, here I'll show you this. And then I have this mirror I had from my other house, and it's pretty funny. Yeah, the tile definitely stops here. All this tile's gotta go. Yeah, we'll see how they, they pour this conquer now. Crappy it is. Might have to like top coat it. I don't really know. This is a newer addition. Anyway, I really love this. I love concrete and I'm really happy that this is it. And it's funny that you can actually see the blocks, so you know, stay tuned. Gonna keep going. We'll do tile or something the next day, I don't know. But I gotta go back in the rest of the house because I got termite poop everywhere. But yeah, feeling better. It made me feel good to just like rip that shit out. But now I have all this wood and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna have to call somebody or ask somebody to get rid of it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this concludes this episode on removing the bathroom cabinet. Here, I'll go back. I'll, I'll play a little something here for you so you can see the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, it really adds a lot of space. Zippo, shut up! It really adds a lot of space here. I can't believe it. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, so I just want to do slats. Or not slats. Um, wood, wood beams going across. So just imagine like wood beam going across different layers. And then it'll like go above the toilet. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So stay tuned. See what I do next.
so here's a, a door. Sorry. So this is it. Just get everything pulled out. This wood, this is crazy. It's a lot of wood. Well, anyway, that and a little bit on the other side. Well, just finished taking that out. I needed to do something today, so it's fine. And uh, yeah, it's all cleaned up. Now I gotta figure out where to put the wood. Well, I mean, we have a we have a big trash can, but you can't just put that in. So I might have to call somebody to take it away or whatever. It's fine. Just leave it there. Anyway, so that's done. It's gone. And uh, step forward in a new direction. Zipa liked it. He had fun helping me clean up. Anyway. Day one, and uh, this house needs a lot of work. Not a lot to gut, but there there are certain things to, to remove and then make better. So I'm excited to make them better. So thanks for watching this episode and learning how to de-install a cabinet that was installed in Mexico or closet, whatever. It looks so much better. Oh yeah. All right. Peace out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like what you saw. And if you want to see more stuff, I'm just going to keep documenting this. And uh, whoever wants to see it, enjoy.